If you've ever played a Mario 64 ROM hack in your life, you've probably encountered an invisible wall like this before. It even happens in the original game. Because I'm so good at Mario, I just hit that invisible wall and fall down instead. Now there are two types of invisible walls. The ones at the end of the level boundary and the ones above the ceiling. Imagine Mario in a room like this. A better way to imagine this room would be as a bunch of force fields from each side that try to keep Mario inside. From the floor upwards, from the walls into the inside, and from the ceiling downwards. If you look at this picture, the ceiling actually extends indefinitely upwards and tries to keep Mario out of it. The only way to cancel a ceiling hitbox is by putting a floor above the ceiling and then it will look like this. What we are trying to do with this patch is to make it look like this. That the ceiling collision actually ends where the last vertex of the ceiling is. Mario 64's collision engine is not perfectly reliable at cancelling ceilings and you sometimes want open ceilings like this. To give you a comparison of how the fix looks, this is the regular Mario 64 collision engine at work. Um, it blocks Mario from going inside the ceiling hitbox as we've explained earlier and this is with the fix. It doesn't block Mario anymore, uh, you can walk off like that. It adds a little push so that uh, when you walk from behind into the ceiling or from above you still get pushed out uh, because otherwise the ceilings wouldn't really do their job anymore. And this one obviously also still keeps the old level boundary and visible walls intact so that you can't just walk off and do nothing.